Hello everyone, welcome back to Desi Chale Videsh again. As I promised in my last video uh, that I'll be making a video about spousal open work permit process. So today I am going to uh, give an idea about the document checklist that you uh, need for to apply for a spousal open work permit. Um, so for those who don't know what is spousal open work permit, uh, so it's a type of visa uh, that is granted to a person who is either uh, a spouse of international student or a, a work permit holder. So in our case, my husband is a student. Uh, he has enrolled himself for a year of postgraduate diploma course. Uh, through him, I have applied for spousal open work permit. Our initial plan was uh, that he would be coming to Canada first and once uh, he has his study permit, he will apply for uh, my work permit visa. Uh, but then uh, there was a little bit twist in the plan because uh, his travel was scheduled for August uh, 15th or 16th. Uh, but uh, there was a uh, cancellation in his flight from Dubai. Next uh, scheduled plan was for 20th of September. So there was a little bit time there. So we thought it's since almost a month he has to wait in India. Uh, let us just uh, apply for my spousal open work permit and just wait. Uh, there would be little bit movement by then. And if maybe we're lucky enough, even uh, we can get the visa, though it was a little bit tough uh looking at the other cases at that time uh, but we just wanted to take a chance so this is my application timeline i submitted my application on 11th of august after my upfront medical which was done on uh, 9th of august uh, so it was little bit challenging that time to get biometrics appointment i booked my appointment uh, at first for bangalore location which was on 19th of september uh, but after I booked, I kept looking for other uh, locations as well. Uh, I was lucky to get one in Chennai location that was for 16th of August. Almost after a month, which is 16th of September, I got my correspondence letter, which is also known as biometric validation letter. It is actually a little bit unusual to get uh, correspondence letter before your medical but I don't know that time how the application was working uh, but I got my BVL before my uh, medical was updated uh, till date my medical is not yet updated I am assuming it might be because of some technical glitch I tried to raise a waveform for the same issue but uh, after that also it was not up, uh, updated so uh, after uh, four days of my biometric validation later i got ppf which was 20th of september uh, then my passport was picked up by 22nd of september and uh, it was stamped and i got my port of entry later by 27th of september uh, so after i got my original passport request i have posted my timeline in one of the facebook group uh, so as soon as uh, I posted this, I started getting a lot of queries from many people. The most common question I got from people was about the checklist, that is the documents uh, I have uploaded uh, while applying for the open work permit. Uh, so in this video, I will mainly focus on the document checklist itself. I'll explain what all I have uploaded uh, and uh, how you can keep the documents handy before you go ahead and apply for your open work permit. I think there are three main points that is uh, considered most while uh, uh, the a spousal open work permit application is being evaluated. Uh, the first and most important thing is uh, proving your uh, relationship with your spouse or common law partner. And the second thing is uh, whether you have enough finances, proof of fund, if you can show enough of that. And the third point is uh, how well you can explain your statement of purpose. So statement of purpose is very, very important when you are writing it, it has to be detailed. So here are the documents that I have uploaded uh, in my application. Um, 
so as i mentioned earlier statement of purpose uh, in statement of purpose uh, i have made different paragraphs uh, for the below information uh, firstly the family background maybe where you are from uh, where you have completed your schooling and who all are there in your family so under academic background uh, i have talked about uh, my uh, highest degree and uh, the percentage i had um, it's it's not uh, mandatory but i thought it would be a good idea to explain things in more detail and about uh, the work experience i have uh, i had around 7 years of experience in india so i uh, segregated everything um, in details uh, in uh, i told when i joined and what all in general my responsibility was uh, so the next thing that uh, comes into picture is you have to explain why you want to uh, join your spouse in canada in my case it was why do i want to accompany my spouse uh, because when i applied my spouse was still in india I just uh, told uh, our story about uh, how we met and then how our relationship uh, uh, progressed over the time and uh, how we got married so how we can support each other when we are in Canada together um, so I think you can uh, explain based on your situation because the situation differs from person to person um, so it's it's totally up to you how you want to present your case i also spoke about our future plans um, and this is something i think is very important to mention in your statement of purpose uh, because the immigration officer would want to know uh, whether or not you would return back to your home country once your visa is expired uh, so it's it's very much important that you mention that next point i have mentioned is about my finances um, uh, that is uh, how much finances i have um, how that will support me in canada if there is any investment that you have done please try to uh, explain things in detail um, and uh, for many people case uh, they are uh, probably take some money from their family member be sure that uh, one when you are taking any gift from your uh, parents or uh, siblings just uh, get a gift deed um, if uh, you don't know what gift deed is uh, maybe try to uh, do some research online because i haven't done it for myself so i am not much aware about that fact these are the things that I have mentioned in my uh, statement of purpose. So many people have been asking me to share my statement of purpose. Uh, so I just want to say sorry uh, to everyone because it's it's not possible to share someone's statement of purpose. Maybe because it's it's very much personal. And if you ask me to edit my personal details and send, I don't think there would be much left to that. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll just share one link in the description box here uh, that is uh, linked to a telegram group. Uh, they have few samples. Uh, you can just go and check out to those samples. And uh, if you need any more help on top of that, maybe uh, you can directly reach me out through uh, my social media profile. I'll just, uh, you can also just ask in the comment section of this uh, video. I will try to help you as much as possible. I have attached a letter of invitation from my spouse uh, where he has given an approximate uh, uh, address where he will be staying in Canada and uh, I will accompany him and I will stay, stay with him in that specific address. I also have attached uh, his travel details and itineraries. So the other things I guess it's pretty much self-explanatory uh, like the passport copy of me and my spouse. Um, if you, your spouse already got study permit just attach that but in my case it was just the stamp passport copy. Um, I have also attached my resume. I, I think it's, it's needed because you are applying for a work permit. So if you have your uh, uh, 
previous experience even if you don't have but if you have a resume handy just uh, please attach that resume also attach the upfront medical copy that i got from hospital so i have uh, made an affidavit copy of my finances uh, so many people uh, want to go for a ca certificate instead when they have uh, properties and lot of investment here and there in my case i did not have uh, those details so i just made an affidavit where i have declared all my finances uh, you also can just uh, go to any of the local notary place and you just ask them to make one for you uh, that should help so also try to attach six months of uh, bank statement um, and try to keep the finances uh, uh, for at least uh, three to four months uh, in your account uh, and if you have any joint account uh, with your spouse or anyone else then try to attach that statement as well i uh, attached my mutual fund statement uh, pf statement um, salary statement these all are coming under your finance details that you need to show and uh, in my work experience details i have attached my present company's uh, employment letter uh, previous company's relieving letter uh, income tax return information these are not mandatory details if you have those details then only attach otherwise you can just uh, ignore it in the academic details i have attached uh, all of my academic certificates and mark sheet i also attached my spouse's passport copy with stamp as i said a letter of acceptance from college uh, his enrollment letter uh, his college payment received students home page jc certificate he got after he made the jc transfer his academic calendar which is his course schedule and these all things were attached under client information also uh, there would be document list for relationship proof under relationship the most important thing uh, that needs to be attached is marriage certificate um, then the whatsapp and facebook chat history i think this is very much optional uh, so i know even many people don't want to share those details and I, it's it's perfectly fine not to share in my case i thought it's it's just harmless to share a few of them i and i would also um, scroll down uh, and i'll show how how you can attach that uh, wedding photos wedding card uh, scan copy maybe and uh, if uh, you have some photos before and after marriage these things are just to uh, show the immigration officer that uh, your relationship is genuine so whatever documents you have handy you just try to attach that so i'll just show how i have uh, uploaded those details uh, so in case of the uh, before and after marriage photos i i just attached my google photo screenshot where uh, it says the date as you can see the first one is from saturday january 31st 2015 is from 20 another one is from 2016 uh, so uh, i have uh, given screen few screenshots from different uh, times and then i have given after marriage photos as well like our honeymoon photos uh, for wedding photos so whatsapp chat history i have uh, given like this where you uh, you can see the timestamp uh, like february 14 2020 uh, if you have property in your name it's just better to go with the ca certificate but i'm not much experienced in that area so uh, probably you have to do some research and spouse's study permit as i mentioned earlier uh, if your spouse is in Canada, so in my case he was not in Canada, so I had to uh, upload his stamped passport copy, which is study visa. But if he is in Canada already, of course he will be having his study permit. You can attach that. And also in many cases, when spouse come to Canada and he or she starts working, you can uh, upload the pay stub as well. Um, so yeah that's that's pretty much about the documents checklist that i have uploaded i'll be talking about uh, the after application steps maybe uh, in my next video uh, so how you can apply for now i just wanted to talk about the documents you need to keep handy before you go ahead and apply this 
सो गेटिंग बायोमेट्रिक अपॉइंट वॉज अ चैलेंज लेटली फॉर मेनी पीपल सो आई वुड जस्ट सजेस्ट यू चेक एंड यू सी वेन यू आर गेटिंग अ बायोमेट्रिक अपॉइंटमेंट सो ऑल आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस टूडे इफ यू हैव एनी मोर क्वेरीज अबाउट द स्पाउजल ओपन वर्क परमिट आई वुड बी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी इन माई फेसबुक बट वेन सम वन अनोन हु इज नॉट इन माई फ्रेंड लिस्ट इज सेंडिंग मी अ मैसेज इन फेसबुक इट मोस्टली गोज टू माई अदर्स फोल्डर विच आई यूजली डोंट चेक रेगुलरली सो सो इफ यू वॉन्ट इटल बिट फास्टर रेस्पॉन्स देन मे बी यू कैन डायरेक्टली रीच आउट टू आवर इंस्टाग्राम पेज विच आई चेक एंड आई एम मोर एक्टिव ऑन इंस्टाग्राम देन द फेसबुक सो दैट्स दैट्स ऑल दैट्स वेरी मच अबाउट इट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल बिकॉज इट विल रियली हेल्प आवर चैनल टू ग्रो also please share this video uh, if you think any of your friend is looking for help uh, with spousal open work permit that's all for today thank you so much for watching this video and please stay connected